Okay, this is going to be on a light frequency UV shielding. Hmm, well, what does that mean? I've, I've kind of debated on what the title should be. Here's the idea, maybe you can help me with the title. Uh, let's see, light wave frequency shielding? I don't know. Oh, uh, let's see. So you got this uh, white light. It's a prism, and what comes out is, and I forgot to get these colored markers ready, is different uh, colors of light. Now what we're going to think of doing is, in the individual frequencies, just like certain sound waves will uh, cancel out other sound waves, or you just offset the, the uh, uh, can you see that? Now let's go like this. Comes out like that. <coughs> and we've got different colors here to show you as the light breaks up into its component parts. And that green's not very good, it's not working, it's all wet. We can uh, utilize one or a combination of these individual frequencies or colors of light out in a flat plane. This yellow, I'm not even sure if the yellow is going to show up or not. You might be able to see that, it might not, so I'll make it nice and thick. And last, I have like brown. Of course, this isn't all the colors of the, of the spectrum. When you break down uh, sunlight into its component parts, like a, in a rainbow, that's what it is, basically. I'm trying to simulate a rainbow. Okay, so, is it possible? Let's say the green light. Which, oh, green didn't work too well. Okay, let's say, for whatever reason, uh, just hypothetically, that a, a projected flat uh, light projected out in the red part of the spectrum. Let's say that hypothetically this is the one we just have found it, we tried it, hey it was real simple and it turns out to be the red. That the UV rays or the, the rays that cause the uh, global warming are blocked by the red spectrum of light. Okay, and this is the light coming in from the sun. Yeah, coming this way. Hits the, hits the, uh, not what, hits the, what did I call this earlier? <laughs> Forgetting the name of it now. Hits that, what I called it earlier. I forget, I'm having a brain fart now. I'm having a brain fart because these stupid markers are not working. But that's the idea. Break down uh, the light that we see, white light, into its component colors or frequencies of light, if you will, and see if one or a combination of these would work together such that it would block the rays from the sun. I'm moving the sun down here and coming this way. We have light going out over the earth. Say, say in our city we have a light projection device that shoots out a, a beam of red light and say this is what blocks the heat producing uh, part of the spectrum of the uh, light coming in from the sun towards us. Really this should probably be up here, but I ran out of space. So I'm pretending like we're upside down now, and the sun is actually that way, and we're standing on the earth, something like, oh, maybe, I don't know, like mm -hmm. uh, this. <laughs> so I have to do it upside down, because I ran out of space. But is there is there a uh, spectrum that we can pull out, something we can pull out of the light? or a combination of these light frequencies that will block uh, solar radiation coming in. That we can put above the city or maybe in satellites out in the space, who knows. Projecting this light in wherever the sun is, we'll have uh, satellites and in between that area where the satellites are, the Earth is here, the satellites that are orbiting around here would be the ones projecting this light to cut out some of some or who knows how much of the heat intensity of solar radiation. So that's the idea. Oh, prism. 
prism. Let me put the word prism in here before I forget again. Brain fart, absent minded professor. Okay, so sunlight hits prism, it's broken up into its component parts. Can those component parts, one or a combination of them, I'm, I'm just using this as an example, say we find that the red uh, spectrum or red light wave frequency <coughs> will shield us from incoming uh, effects of solar radiation on the Earth. In other words, in, since we're trying to, we have to deal with carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, it's, it's causing uh, heating up of the uh, uh, above us. Uh, atmosphere. The atmosphere, let's see if uh, some type of, we can use fire to fight fire. What this is, is using fire to fight fire. Is there light wave frequencies, one or a combination of these, that will create a color of light or a light wave frequency that will block the heat producing portion of solar radiation coming in and still allow sunlight through to actually provide us with sunlight. <coughs> so that's what I'm looking for. Thank you.